first of all let us understand what is fetal medicine this is a relatively new field of medical care which is attached to the obstetrics part of the departments this deals basically with the well being of the fetus when i mean fetus it is the baby which is in the womb of the mother earlier at least till 1980s in india pregnancy care was only given to the pregnant women as such she was treated with good food she was asked to take rest and basically for the well being of the mother but nothing was thought about the fetus which is inside which is growing so what do you do in fetal medicine or what we as fetal medicine specialist who are also called as the physicians of the unborn do we know when the mother misses her periods that is when when she thinks that she is pregnant she has an uh, urine check done and then she is confirmed to be pregnant so the first thing they want to know is whether the pregnancy is inside the uterus or whether it is in the tube which is quite common nowadays with lot of infertility treatment going on so the first scan the mother undergoes during pregnancy is for the location of pregnancy so once you locate the pregnancy is inside the uterus the next step is to find out whether the baby inside is single or multiple this is again very important because there are certain problems which are associated with twin pregnancies which needs to be identified early in pregnancy and these pregnancies are termed as high risk pregnancy and require special care by themselves so the second is the identifying the number third is to identify whether the pregnancy is corresponding to the period whether the baby is viable or not by viability i mean whether the heartbeat of the baby has come or not so the early pregnancy scan or the first scan the mother undergoes during pregnancy is called as a viability scan or a dating scan which takes care of all these findings now the mother moves into the second first trimester that is between 11 to 14 weeks of pregnancy this is an important period of pregnancy when the fetal medicine comes into play this is the time when we need to find out whether the fetus which is inside the mother is at high risk for chromosomal problems or structural related problems which could be picked up very early in pregnancy because the knowledge about whether the fetus is normal chromosomally or structurally is very important in again categorizing the patient as low risk or high risk we all know chromosomal problems especially down syndromes which when the baby is born cannot be corrected so the parents are left with tending to these babies which are special babies by themselves so we have certain screening protocols in ultrasound which are aided by certain blood tests also called as screening tests which helps to identify whether this pregnancy is at risk for down syndrome so we measure the neck thickness of the baby which is the fluid around the base at the base of the neck find out whether the nasal bone is present or absent and see these are the certain markers markers are the findings in ultrasound which helps us to find identify that this baby is at risk for down syndrome so once i know that this pregnancy is at risk for down syndrome i go to the next step to find out to confirm whether the baby has is having the problem or not so the confirmatory test is by fetal sampling when i mean mean fetal sampling just like how we do the blood test to identify our problems we can also take the samples of the fetus the sample can either be the placenta which is around the baby take a little bit of placental villi and send it for test or the fluid which is around the baby the baby flu- floats in the amniotic fluid and this fluid we take a little bit and send it for testing to find out whether the baby is chromosomally normal so once the suspicion of an down syndrome is started in the mother's mind we do the confirmatory test and prove yes this is not an affected baby or this is an affected baby so once a report has about the definite diagnosis comes to the parents then they are able to take a decision of whether to continue the pregnancy or not because as i told you earlier chromosomal problems cannot be corrected we also identify certain structural related problem like the presence of absence of the calvarium or the cranial vault itself the greater problems in the spine problems in the face etc which could be picked up as early as 11 to 13 weeks of pregnancy when i say 11 to 14 weeks of pregnancy the baby is just about 5 to 6 cm about a finger size so it requires expert training to image that fetus find out the normalcy about the structures which are supposed to be at that point 
and then report that is where a fetal medicine specialist gets trained at now the first trimester is gone the pregnancy moves on to the second trimester the second trimester the most important scan every pregnant woman undergoes is called the anomaly scan or the structural evaluation scan here the baby is examined from head to foot just like how when we go to a doctor when we have have a complaint and tell him he is going to examine us from the top to the bottom include take some biometry some measurements about our weight bp etc similarly we also examine the fetus in utero that is which is inside the mother's womb from head to foot once we identify the structures are normal and report to the couple and also show them that the fetus is structurally normal it is a great sense of relief to the couple to say yes my pregnancy is normal till 5 months so now now i can go home happily enjoy the remaining part of the pregnancy and they eagerly wait to come again for the next scan to see the normalcy of the baby again so in the anomaly scans when we identify structures which are problems which are correctable suppose if there is a small defect in the heart or a small cleft lip which can be diagnosed in ultrasound once it is diagnosed these are not life threatening problems these are correctable issues so we counsel the couple telling that this there yes, there is a problem but this problem is correctable once a baby is born and we direct them to the specialist who are involved with it so we call a pediatric surgeon who does the correction we also refer to them to pediatric cardiologist who can do the correction and they are able to tell so fetal medicine in essence is an interdisciplinary modality we cannot function alone without the help of the card, uh, obstetricians first of all second with the super specialties who will deal with the baby once it is out the patient now goes on to the third trimester so in the third trimester what we are worried is about the growth of the baby the well being of the baby whether the fluid around is normal whether the blood flow to the baby is normal how long can we keep the baby inside are there problems related to the maternal diseases which can crop up at that point like pregnancy induced hypertension gestational diabetes the mother can have bp or sugars during pregnancy and that can be identified and see whether the fetus is affected or not so arriving at the well being of the fetus in the third trimester again is a reassuring factor for the obstetricians who can plan whether this delivery can occur in a normal settings or has to be referred to a super speciality places where the mother may require add on help so in short fetal medicine is goes beyond imaging it also provides solution to the couple solution to the obstetricians and in short it is a modality which looks into the welfare of the unborn we are the physicians of the unborn and this speciality in due course is going to become an integral part of obstetric practice